All right. While he's doing that, I will just mention that we are doing a thing, right? We recently did a sponsored stream with Raid Shadow Legends, and it was fine. It was fun. It was, you know, all right. It really wasn't. But um, I don't know. It felt kind of icky. So I'd rather I'd rather our community sponsor our streams. And so if you want to sponsor a stream where you can, you, we're trying it out for September. $100 per bracket. Your message will be down here in a rotating banner, and you can throw a logo up there as well. Uh, if you're interested in doing that and supporting us uh, while we try to, um, you know, generate a little revenue so we can fund some fun projects, then uh, then get a hold of me in the Do Not DM Vandy channel in our Discord. Uh, CTM.gg slash Discord will get you into the Discord. Then go, go find the channel that says Do Not DM Vandy. We're going to try it out just so we don't have to do Raid Shadow Legends anymore. So there you go. All right, we got a ready from Dog Playing Tetris. We got a ready from Sidnev. I am ready. You are ready. Everybody's been ready for like 10 minutes. Uh, Sidnev is typing. So let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. For match number two in our blue bracket, round one between Dog Playing Tetris and Sidnev. So I realized yesterday, yesterday, you know, we like to capture, whoops, we like to capture the audio of my, my, you know, my vocals separately from the stream audio so that Pumpy can like edit out anything really cringy that I say or fix audio or whatever. And I realized, uh, you know, of course, I, I didn't have, like my, I couldn't capture it out of the computer yet, out of the main microphone. So I had to capture it through my um, Mac microphone the one in the laptop which actually isn't a bad microphone it's what we used um to do the live events but i realized i think i like belched like four times <laughs> so i think pumpy might have like four belches somewhere available so who knows if they'll get leaked because i muted it on stream and through the main broadcast but obviously did not mute the laptop microphone oh sponsors at ctm.gg is that a is that a thing Well, you can, no, just DM me in the DM channel. I mean, just do that. You know, you can, and then we can take it from, you know, private from there if we have to, but we'll have a little transparency. People like to see what's going on. All right, 205 Sydney, 141 for dog playing Tetris. Box mail, can you DM me too? Go to my Vandy channel. My do not DM Vandy channel. A couple of T spins already early on for Sidnev, and that was another one. You'll love to see it. You know, we've seen so many amazing things throughout the years we've had together here on Classic Tetris Monthly, but I still, you know, I still think T spins are cool. I still think line spins are cool. I still think, you know, Z spins and S spins and. There's still a little bit of like, oh, is he going to make it? And, you know, sometimes they don't make it. So there's still, I still think it's cool and exciting. Maybe I'm a nerd. All right, Tetris for Dog 278 and Tetris for Tsidnev, 300,000 points. Thanks again to those of you who have uh, subscribed to our channel today really helps us out and if you have amazon prime you do have a free amazon prime subscription that you can grant to the streamer of your choice and it costs you nothing over and above your amazon prime subscription but it does give us a little bit of a you know a little bit of a financial treat so uh if you want to apply it toward us then uh you know that would be all right i'd be okay with it and uh, you just hit the subscribe on our beautiful Twitch channel. Dog uh, kind of wasn't able to get that S over, and for a moment it was looking a little monkas, but with the rolling, no big deal. He's gonna clear this away, no problem, or just mild problems. 
dog with the T-spin setup. He's going to have to create a gap, though. So this will take some burning down. 415, Sidnep, 361 for the reigning two-time CTWC champion. And really two months, less than two months, he will have to, if he's going, which I believe he is, defend his title and become really, you know, looking to become only the second uh, three-time champion. Of course, we had uh, Jonas, who was a seven-time champion. Joseph won it twice, and if Dog can win it in October, I mean, that would be pretty cool for Dog. So there you go. Of course, I think it's a lot harder to win him now <laughs> than... Uh, in Jonas's era where, I mean, Jonas was so dominant, especially for the first few years, you know, it was just like, you know, I mean, who else was even close? I mean, really, it was just him and Harry, and he was always edged to Harry out a little bit, except for that one year in 2014. So, so much more difficult to be a multi-time champion these days. So we'll see what he can do. Looking forward to it. I'll be there, I think. 523 here for Dog, 592 for Sidnev, and still 11 lines to go for Sidnev before the 19 transition. Oh, true, yes, Dog, the only CTWC winner not from California. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, as long as a Californian doesn't win, I think I think I'll be okay. I'm rooting for any number of Texans. Uh, Broes Broesmans or Brosmans, thank you so much for the tier one resub. Six seventy six for Sidnev here on level twenty. Six nineteen on nineteen for Dog. He's gonna get a Tetris. And the Vits on level 20 for Sidnev. Lots of Vits and the Tetris. So 702 on 20 for Sidnev. This is a pretty spicy pace from both of them. Xeno Wraith says, I am rooting for Corian to learn rolling. <laughs> I mean, that would be amazing. I think there is a, a lot of people who are rooting for that. A bang Tetris for Sidnev, 764 to go back into the lead. Dog temporarily had the lead, and you might think he has the pace lead now in a way because he's a few lines behind. So bang Tetris for Dog, 776. He does have the lead and is back by a few lines. Tetris for Dog, 832. So I think we are officially... Neck and neck, eyelash, eyelash to eyelash. All right, dog, gonna throw that long bar over to the left, and uh, you can see, like, oh, should I have done that? I'm not sure. He kind of shook his head a little bit, but you know, all right, he's fine. It worked out, no problem. And bang Tetris for dog, 923 here on 24. Sidnev with a little bit of down stacking to do. And cleaning up a little bit of garbage. Bang Tetris for Dog 953. Sidnev 873, level 25. Another Tetris for Dog, one away from the max out. There's one for Sidnev. Dog ahead by about uh, oh, 44,000 points now, but again, back by about four to six lines. Now, of course, uh, that, you know, back by a number of lines doesn't really matter as much in the, uh, you know, Thrill screen era. And Sidnev's board looking all kinds of messed up here on 27 and that uh, can't get pieces around that spire. And this is looking very dangerous for Sidnev. Gonna open up that big chasm though in the middle of the stack, column three and four. And looking to bring this down before level 29, or at least have some kind of workable board. We'll be playing from behind, though, because Dog's got a 1.1 here going into 28. And Sidnev just 
three lines away now from the level 29 transition and not really burned down too much. And now is going to transition awkwardly on 29 and can't. Yeah, this is probably going to end up in a top out and does. And Sidnev has topped out at 984 C24 dog on level 29 with a stack that is also getting a bit higher, but you know, actually clearing some stuff away, dog, and actually will be able to burn this down. So, this is a big, uh, pretty good score here for level 30 with the 1.2. So, I guess everybody gets a mullen, and you know, dog's got to determine if this is going to be dog's mullen. And why not? Setting up for the Tetris, bang Tetris for dog, C78. And he's like, nope, that's all right, I got it. I don't know what's happening there. We got a camera thing happening. <laughs> the mullining. Yeah, GG's guys. Dog with the with the heart. Rematch. All right, we got ma uh, game number two. And both players are ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Vicious Rhubarb says, I think yesterday was the mullin to end all mullins at this point. Yeah, I mean, if somebody's really close to a PB, though, I mean, go for it. But really close, in my mind, is like two minutes you know if you're going much further than two minutes to get that pb then yeah you know i don't know i can be flexible a little honestly a little bit depends on my mood sometimes i'm just not in the mood for the mullins and sometimes i am All right, Bank Tetris for Sidnev, 46,000 through nine lines. There is one for Dog, so eight lines, two Tetrises. Muffio said, is there a video of Eric ICX's insane new record I only heard about yesterday, LOL? Yes, you can go into the VODs on this channel. Dog needs a little long bar over there in column one. And this is getting a little spicy. If, uh, if he had had a mega drought there, that would have been very interesting. But uh, it was not a mega drought, and therefore it was not very interesting. Yeah, go into the VODs. Uh, it is game two of match number two, right? Wasn't it match? That, was, it, was it the round two match? that Eric had no it was yeah no it was his round one match that's right it was his round one match against uh Huffleupagus in game two uh all right Tetris for Sydney have 190 dog playing Tetris 150 Where are the Sidnev ghost hearts? Yeah, for some reason I forgot to put ghost hearts in this scene. I'm setting up these scenes a little bit differently now. And I the ghost hearts aren't in there, but they will be again in the future. We call them heart slots. Okay, we don't call them ghost hearts. Ghost hearts sounds very scary. It's like something you'd find in Castlevania. That's all right. We won't fix it in post. Tetris for dog 244. Sidnev still burning up near the top of the board. Ill-timed long bar would have preferred it um, uh, a little bit earlier, but gets another quick long bar anyway, so no problem. And bang, Tetris for Sidnev back into the lead, but ahead by about six lines. Playing up near the top of the stack, you will end up just getting more pieces per unit of time than if you played lower, so... Sidnev playing a little ahead. Twenty-four hour mullining. Oh my god, that would be amazing. But you would run into what a crash, right? Unless you, I think, Fractal on his stream last night said there was a way to skip the crash. But uh, it's complicated. Is the bracket not working? What do you mean? 
Oh, ctm.gg slash tournaments. Does the bracket command still work? That should that should also work because people remember that and they expect it. But yeah, I bet I bet uh, I bet Fractal will get that. I mean, Fractal hasn't grinded colors on NTSC yet, so I mean, he'll have to get through that to get to the game crash or whatever. Yeah, I think uh, I think Eric would have gone longer yesterday because he died on a very dark level, <laughs> which sounds you know sounds very emo. But he died on the level was very dark. Um, and dog playing Tetris, just piling like lines and squares over to the left. A weird looking stack here. Four fifty five for dog. Four fifty eight for Sidnev. And misdrop with a T for Sidnev. At least I think, you know, who knows? Maybe he's got some, you know, some secret optimal stacking thing that involves putting a T in that place instead of down that column, but. Yeah, but I, I think Eric would have gone longer if that, if, if he weren't playing colors, if it was just, you know, regular cycle of 10 different color palettes. But that's the game. 491 for dog playing Tetris. 512 for Sidnev. Uh, Mr. Brain says has an idea for line cap is just make each successive level darker and darker so you can't see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so you're playing invisible. That's good. I like that. All right. Sidnev up high here. Level 19 is rolling. So you would expect, you know, maybe you can survive this, but nothing guaranteed for sure. And some nice, oh, nice tucks up there near the top of the board. Gets a long bar over to the left. That should bring down the stack. And Sidnev looks like he's burned his way back down to... Safety, 558 Sidnev here on 21. Dog, 576 on level 20. All right, Sidnev here on 22. He's always got an interesting... His capture is very interesting because it really distorts the colors, so... 22 does not normally look like bubblegum. It, you know, it's normally like more purple than pink, but. All right, there you go, Sidnev, 673, 619 for dog through level 21. Sidnev already into 23. Bang Tetris for dog 655 back by 105,000 points from Sidnev. Sidnev with a 12 line lead though. All right, dog just going to take that triple. Not do anything crazy like set up for a dirty Tetris. No need to do that. Can chase down for a long time. So no need to get super risky and uh, kind of over shift with the, or an over roll with that J piece to the left. So this is going to cause some additional burning for dog. All right. Tetris Sidnev 896 and dirty center well Tetris for dog playing Tetris. And Alex T waits in the wings. The winner of this match will play Alex T. Sidnev not able to get that long bar all the way to the left. Oh, no. And he piles another long bar on top of it. He is open on the right side and will need to get a long bar to bring this stack down. Gets the long bar. And now we'll have to attempt to get another long bar over. And no. Oh, and he hangs it again. And this time he cannot burn out of this. Let's see if he can get it. And he cannot get it over. Sidnev going to top out, kind of short stroke that uh, those couple of long bars. Top out at 972. So 
Dog the target, 973 is your target. Yeah, that's really uh, just uh, fewer than two Tetrises away now. We'll have to grind this out on 29. Looking to get one of those Tetrises here. We'll get that one, and it's just 7,000 more points. And you don't want to think anything is a given, but we've seen Dog go a long, long time. And 979, and that is it for Dog. So Dog getting the victory and heart number two here in game two. All right, as soon as the players are ready, which they are, we will go ahead and start game number three here in round one between Dog playing Tetris and Sidnev. Uh, if my keyboard would work, hello, there it is. Three, two, one, Tetris. <clears throat> All right, Sidnev with the early push down point advantage. Got those eleven points. Dog, meanwhile, with the first Tetris of the match. Sitting to have a long drought here early on, but going to get the long bar for the Tetris anyway. And there we go. Sitting have with the 11-point lead. All right, Tetris for Dog, 114. Sitting up, gonna burn a few lines here. All right, Tetris for Sidnev. Dog uh, getting up a little bit high there. You're gonna opt to take a triple and then get a nice Tetris. It's so weird, and you know, for those watching on YouTube, here on Twitch, we have a bot, right? A robot in the chat that you can enter a command that's PB and then any player's screen name. And uh, we'll, you know, if they've entered their PB, it will display. And it's so weird to see Eric's PB of 6,492,500. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. It looks so wrong. <clears throat> And my PB is like nine times less than that. <laughs> so there you go. 237 for Dog Playing Tetris, 169 for Sidnev. And Sidnev, oh no, with that, uh, that J piece to the left, that is very scary. He's going to need a long bar and can't throw anything down the right side well. Otherwise, we'll block the well. And oh, gets the long bar over. Finally was able to take one burn and uh, then got the long bar in the very next piece. Super lucky for Sidnev and ended up getting another Tetris. So uh, Sidnev is burned back down mostly, but still has a little bit of a mess to clean up. Open for a dirty Tetris, column one. And there it is. So Sidnev back down to safety. Didn't lose too much pace. Is behind Dog by only 15,000 points. Dog, meanwhile, piling up pieces awkwardly over on the left. Gets a double tuck of the J piece under those squares holy moly both players uh playing with fire here in level 18. two ninety six sidnev three forty one for dog playing tetris there's another tetris for sidnev working one row off the bottom. Getting another one. All right, Sidney, we're going to throw long bar down column 10 to bring this stack down by three rows. 
and still trying to open up that channel down the center. That is not a Tetris, so, uh, but he is gonna throw some material down there and just kind of burn this away. Long bar again down column 10, and looks like Sidney will be able to burn this away. And has an open Tetris well. Dog's gonna get one in the normal well. Sidnev looking to get one in column four and gets it. I don't know, is calling, uh, is calling uh, column 10 the normal well and column four not a normal well? Is that tetero-normative? Oh man, don't wanna get canceled. 407 for Sidnev, 523 for a dog playing Tetris. All right, bang, Tetris for dog 592 and also one for Sidnev 457. We are approaching the level 19 transition here in game three, dog up two games to one. So Sidnev has quite the deficit to make up here in 19 and beyond. He wants to stay in this tournament. Stayed up late, certainly wants to make it worth it. Six sixty one transition for dog, four eighty nine for Sidnev here on nineteen. Bang Tetris, Sidnev five thirty eight. Dog piling long bars over there in column one adjustment. Make room for the Z. And uh, there you go, dog. He's playing Tetris. And there is one for him, 765.90 for Sidnev. Pretty close in lines. This is a real lead. Uh, dog, yeah, people are saying dog is on a 10 million pace. That's right, every pace is 10 million pace now. So we're trialing something next month, which we may make pace relevant again. A double kill screen introduced uh, probably on level 49. That'll give people 200 lines of 29 speed before the gas gets turned up again. So it's a huge effort. This is not easy because we want all 16 players to be able to do it. So we actually have to mail out competition hacks in the mail. So you can tell I'm rooting for like very few Europeans to be in Masters next month. <laughs> Although some players do have EverDrive. So for those players, hopefully they won't, you know, we won't have to do that. All right, Dog with a little bit of trouble with that J piece. And that's gonna give him a long bar dependency down the right side. Gonna open up, uh, gonna have a Tetris open though, no problem. Seven ninety six for Sidnev here into twenty six. Dog is burning lines here on twenty five. Just trying to stay alive and take this here as a sweep. Would I'm sure Dog would much prefer fur. Get it? Because he's a dog. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I remember when Dog, you know, started when he first came on the scene. Everybody's like, hey, these dog puns. And those seem to have slowed down a bit, thankfully. All right, Dog gonna try to bring this down. This is the darkest level, <laughs> uh, 27. And all right, so it looks like, uh, yeah, Dog just wants to have a workable stack. Has the max out, but Sidnev has it too now on 28. Sidnev is able to close that gap almost entirely and Sidnev actually into the lead now he's on 29 and dog and a tetris into 29 so really dog just holding on to the slimmest of leads during that interminable 
uh, uh, burn down or down stack or whatever you want to call it. I mean, that just took forever and just ruined his lead. So here we go. Another uh, kill screen battle between rolling teenagers. Level 31, A86 for Dog, A75 for Sidnev. And we'll see what they do. If they go aggressive, if they try to single and double. Oh, Dog with the misdrop there. Gonna have to build around that. Sidnev's uh, kind of left side of the board and really all sides of the board a little bit messed up. Dog able to fix his, gets a long bar over to the right. And now Dog has a great looking stack. Sidnev's stack getting higher and higher. That long bar is really gonna help. But of course, you know, the decisions get even faster the higher you are, higher you are on the board. Uh, oh my word, Sidnev doing his best to survive. He's got the B01, the 1.1 here on level uh, 33, but is going to top out and Dog playing Tetris is good and has swept Sidnev. GG's to both of our players. There you go. Well, we'll take a moment if Dog wants to keep playing. That's cool. No, Dog is typing. Dog typing Tetris. All right, Muffio. Muffio using the using the, the the emotes, the kind of free emotes, being a subscriber to the channel. I like to see it. Oh wait, dog was not typing. Oh, that was dog watching Tetris. Sorry about that. So dog's going for it. He's just like, whatever. Let's go for, let's go for Tetrises and see what I can do. And you saw, of course, uh, in Austin at our Lone Star qualifier, or actually in our masters, dog was going for Tetrises. Oh, the misdrop with the line. And able to clean this down. And he was going for Tetrises, and that was his strategy. It didn't quite work that time, but against many opponents, that would work, where you just try to put as much distance between yourself and your competitor as possible by playing aggressive and uh, and then betting on your opponent to kind of fail to chase down. Didn't happen with Fractal. But Dog now with the E15, stack getting a little bit high. So we'll watch Dog for a little bit. Going to put Alex T on ice. <laughs> and Dog's out for a nice clean Tetris E92. I'm looking for that F. So E is 1.4, F is 1.5, and uh, it'll roll over at 1.6. Gotta make sure I get that math down before CTWC. I think I will probably be doing some streaming during CTWC. I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, why wouldn't they? You know, my God, this great talent, this scary talent here, CTM. <laughs> why wouldn't you? Oh, wow. Nice play from Dog and setting up for another Tetris. And look at this guy go. I mean, just going for Tetrises as much as possible. And oh no, that JP's to the left. No, he gets a long bar over. What a crazy individual. So there you go, dog getting the F64. Put your F, uh, drop your Fs in chat for dogs, F. Hey everybody, this is your old pal, Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.